Hello everyone, happy first day of school, and welcome back for another season of Beach Weekly, a podcast created and produced by Long Beach State student-run newspaper, The Daily 49er. My name is Leila Nunez, it is so great to be back for another semester at the beach. In this episode, we will be covering campus news and updates so that you are prepared and in the know of what is happening this upcoming semester. CSULB classes continue to be offered in person and online, with an overall increase of in-person classes from the last spring semester. How are you feeling about in-person classes? I feel like most people are excited to get back in person. I know I am, but I'm curious. Let me know. All right, and without further ado, here's everything you need to know about what's going on on campus to start off the fall 2022 semester. Let's go. Long Beach State is continuing to require that all students receive booster shots of the COVID-19 vaccination as part of its immunization policy. Per the university website, all students and non-represented staff are required to receive a booster shot six months after their final dose to be considered fully vaccinated. Those with a valid vaccination exemption or who are not fully vaccinated must participate in the campus's COVID-19 testing program. Student Health Services is continuing to administer both testing and vaccinations on campus. Additionally, face coverings will continue to be enforced in classrooms, labs, the student health services clinic, public transit, office settings, and child care centers. For fully vaccinated individuals, wearing face coverings in other campus environments, such as outdoors, in the student union building, or the library, is optional. And for more information, you can visit www.csulb.edu slash COVID-19 to read more about the campus's COVID-19 policies and resources. Unfortunately, in addition to COVID-19, we also have the recent outbreak of the monkeypox virus. CSULB has announced that it is closely monitoring the outbreak of the monkeypox virus, though it has not implemented any new policies or guidelines directly relating to the virus. Per the Student Health Services website, monkeypox is treatable with the monkeypox vaccine, but the vaccine is not available on campus at this moment. To learn more about the monkeypox virus, you can visit the Student Health Services website. Moving on, the CSULB Technology Loan Program is returning once again this year. Eligible first-year students in need of a laptop or tablet can sign up for the free program and use the devices through the completion of their degree. Interested students can visit the CSULB Student Affairs website to learn more. Also, CSULB's Division of Information Technology is working on expanding outdoor Wi-Fi on campus. Following the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic, the university introduced Wi-Fi availability in more outdoor spaces when in-person classes resumed in fall 2021. Students can access Wi-Fi on the student union patios, the Nugget patio, the Maxim Plaza, and the first floor of the Palo Verde South parking structure. And the university plans to expand its Wi-Fi coverage throughout this academic year. I am for sure looking forward to this. As you may have noticed already, the university's move from Beachward to Canvas is well underway. The university is continuing to utilize both Beachward and Canvas throughout the 2022-2023 academic year and plans to move completely to Canvas in fall 2023. However, many professors are already opting to use Canvas this semester. Make sure to double check whether your professors are using Beachward or Canvas this semester to avoid any confusion. Long Beach State has launched a new mental health initiative through the Student Affairs Division that takes a more holistic approach to students' mental health treatment. The initiative includes many new strategies, including engaging with the family members of students who are experiencing mental health distress, introducing a text message forum for mental health support, diversifying staff and peer mentors, and having social workers respond to mental health emergencies alongside campus police. Next, let's talk about sports. Current Long Beach State Athletics Director Andy Fee will be leaving the beach on August 26th and heading for the University of Washington. Fee, who has served as LBSU's Athletic Director since April 2017, announced his departure from the beach on August 8th. LBSU's women's soccer season began against USC yesterday, resulting in a 1-0 loss for the beach. They play again this Thursday at home against San Diego State. And lastly, LBSU's women's volleyball season begins on Saturday in the Portland State Tournament. Go beach! And don't go yet, here are a couple more things to look forward to this semester. Week of Welcome will be held next week on August 30th and 31st throughout the Central Quad from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. If you are interested in joining organizations and clubs or just meeting new people, this is an event you do not want to miss. And hey, maybe you'll see me there. That is all for Campus News. For these and more stories, head on over to daily49er.com where you can read up on the latest news as well as check out the rest of our multimedia content. Also, give us a follow on our socials at daily49er to stay updated on what's going on on campus. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you start the semester off well and have a good one.